this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonel Cross! We're here in another world, and I decided to go back to the Earth Dragon Isle here. Now, we defeated the Earth Dragon in, uh, here, in Homeworld, but in another world, there's something else that we can do here now, so let's go down here. I could have come here a lot earlier, like, uh, I think you could have done it as soon as... Uh, you got back in another world after becoming Lynx. I think that's the earliest you can do this, but it is a lot harder to do this before completing Terra Tower, because you just need the levels. You gotta have the HP. But for now, we can come back here and do this little quest. So let's head on down there, then. We don't have to fight any of the monsters or do any puzzles or... Well, not now. Eventually, we, uh, we'll have to do our own puzzles, but yeah, you just go down the hole that you went to before, and it'll take you all the way up there. If the game will let me, that is. There you go. I knew you guys could do it. I don't know what happened to the holes in Homeworld, but apparently here there's only one hole. My setup is pretty much the same as it was at Terra Tower, except that I have Diminish on Glen, and I have Glenn equipped with the yellow plates. So let's see what's here at the Earth Dragon Isle instead of the Earth Dragon, since he was there in the other world. Oh, no, I guess not. Might as well go home. Oh yeah, what is that up thing up there? It's a monster! Kind of looks like a, a lava spawn with legs and horns or whatever, I don't know. It looks like a lava spawn to me, sort of. Okay, so it doesn't look anything like a lava spawn. Sue me. Alright, it's mini boss time! Not really a boss, because you don't get a star level for it, but we have some other very good rewards that we can get for fighting this guy, so let's take him out. Now, oh, well, let's uh, talk to this guy first, I guess. Cryo Sphinx, huh? Uh, okay. Thou must answer me these questions three. No, no. Well, sort of, I guess. Would you like to play a game? Riddle me this, Batman! Okay, so, first things first. Now, well, the way you're supposed to fight him is by defending here and waiting for Cryo Sphinx to ask you some riddle or whatever, and then you cast an element on it to answer the riddle. You do this six times and you win the battle normally. It also fills up your element grid to eight, so you can cast whatever you want. But let's do this with the brute force method, the hard way. First things first, uh, make it mad. I don't know what's up with the, uh, the accent there. You got me on this one, viewers. Yeah, he wasn't very happy about us hitting him. First things first, cast Diminish as quickly as possible. If you do not, Val will most cert certainly die. There we go. And then we want Surge to build up his element power a little bit because we want him to cast some healing soon. He'll cast Earthquake. Well, that won't be so bad. And this is one reason why I've got Glenn with the yellow plates, because he would not survive. Everyone else has prison mails, by the way. So, oh, well, Thunderstorm, okay. Survive that. Not too much of a problem. I eat lightning for breakfast! Oh crap! Now he's gonna make the field effect all yellow. Let's just fast forward through this. Okay, so he's cast Earthquake. So... Crap! How many elements is this guy gonna cast? Okay, he stopped. Let's take a five minute break and uh, cast Holy Healing now. The reason you want to use Holy Healing Specifically, is because it also removes status ailments. And that's very good to have. There we go. Good job there. Let's see. Yeah, let's go 
if I can build up my uh, hit percentage, that is. Don't hit Fargo. Thank you. Yeah, we want Fargo to pillage from this guy because he can't. you can get a rainbow shell from him, but I think it's a rare steal. So, you know, well, we'll see what we can do. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Now, we get a Donata Ray. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, yeah, why don't you just uh, go all out there, Glenn? Yeah, yeah, okay. So basically, what we need to do, do now <coughs> is, um, well, set up Surge so that way he can, well, he can buff himself up and Fargo can get, uh, what is that buff there? The Gora going on him. This guy has 13,000 HP. So you've got to watch out for that. Um, yeah, Glenn, why don't you heal yourself there? Yeah, yeah, don't even worry about anything else there. Heal plus, eh, it's an okay element. Okay, so now... Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll worry about strengthen later. Whatever. So, while I'm taking the time to whittle down this guy's HP, I figure this would be a good time to uh, talk to you guys about the plot of the game. Turn down the volume just a tad there. There we go. Um, because, you know, I don't want to, like, be bashing the plot through the ending when I do the full review of the game. But as far as the plot goes, I mean, I think I answered most of you guys' questions there. But, you know, I mean, I like the, the concept of the plot for Chrono Cross. You know what? Let's go for uh, strength, strength and after all. Let's have uh, Glenn do the honors. There we go. Get strength and going on surge there. Make sure you don't have um, uh, sprain on surge also. What was I saying about the plot? Oh, yeah. So I like the concept of the plot. You know, the whole idea of resolving what happened in the first game, right? You know, Scala, you know, what happened to her? You know, that was one of the mysteries of Chrono Trigger, right? You know, what happened to her after all that stuff, you know, in the Ocean Palace there? And let's uh, purify Surge there. You know, so that was a good idea, you know, to make a second game. You know, let's figure out what happened, or at least tell people about it, you know? But there's a difference between a good concept and implementation. Now, oh, come on, man. There we go. You know, it's like, in my book, the difference between Golbez and Kefka. Oh, come on. I, I missed the guy? Really, game? Okay, now let's use heal off. There we go. You know, I mean, Kefka, great concept. Probably, as far as the villain themselves go, probably my favorite villain of all time. But the, the implementation in my book wasn't there. He, he, like, in the world of balance, what? He was there for, we saw him, like, what, five or six times? Pops? And then he was, like, gone for the second half of the game. I'm sorry, that's just... I love Final Fantasy VI, but that was just, you know, in my book, poor implementation. Now, Golbez, on the other hand, a, a completely cliché uh, villain, absolutely. No, no arguing that. But, in my book, better implementation. Because, you know, he was there. He was constantly on your ass the whole game, you know? He didn't just... Well, I mean, he disappeared for a little while, but that was mostly because, you know, of the side quests, you know? I mean, that's that's different, you know? I mean, he was around there, and he was constantly harassing you the whole time. That's how you implement a good villain. Sephiroth, same thing. You know, he was gone for, like more than half the game, really, when you think about it, you know? I mean, I'm not saying that they're bad villains. They're great villains. I'm just saying the implementation could have been better, you know? Oh, oh, I didn't expect that. Okay, we're running short on time here, so let's finish this off. You know, I mean, it's like Star Wars, you know? Darth Vader was there the whole time. Yeah, I mean, Kefka disappearing in the second half of Final Fantasy VI, that would be like 
the Emperor di disappearing for like the se second half of Star Wars. Oh, well, yeah, he, he kind of did disappear, but yeah. Did I get him? I'm gonna give you a little speech and then die. Yay, we got him. So what do we get for defeating Cryosphinx? Yeah, he's got a lot of HP, but well, we got him, so there you go. Better be a good reward for defeating an optional super boss this time around. No victory no oh, well, little victory noise, I guess. And we get the sunglasses! What do they do? Find out next time on the finale of Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is HC Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!